Well, from high drama to outrageous comedy, my friend has four Emmy Awards and an Oscar to her credit. And while the entertainment industry continues to feel effects of a recession, she has no less than four projects soon to air. Or five. This is Cloris Leachman. You're going to be overexposed. That's why I, I worry every once in a while. I sort of drop out sometimes. I think they're going to throw tomatoes at the screen if I... Don't you think they get sick of people sometimes? Mm, I get sick I, of myself. I guess. I guess they do. I really do. I do, but, too. But I, you, I have watched you over the years, and you take chances with your career. You really do. <laughs> you really do. That's true. I mean, you all of a sudden will do, you know, you go from winning an Oscar, and you go into something, and somebody will say, you say to yourself, being in the business, why is she doing that? And, it's, and it seems to work for you. Do you make m most of your own decisions? Yes as far as career moves are concerned? Well, I've never really managed a career. In fact, I'm embarrassed to even say I have a career, and it's just uh, old-fashioned of me. I mean, I should catch up with the times and, and be resp responsible for managing it, whatever it, it yeah. is. Um, Do you worry about it? Or does it just keep going along on its that own? That seems to be just um, part of me, and I... Uh, start over I mean I in a sense that I first I want to be a person and and I mean originally let's say I wanted to to um, get myself organized find out who I was uh, get a foundation and uh, the acting if anything I had to keep away for a while too I mean I always sensed a, a tremendous power inside myself that was just oh, that, you could almost take me away with it. I mean, it, 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 it's a, that had to be, that, it seems to me, had to be managed more than a career. Uh, not to get, for me, not to get distorted until I had a chance to find out who I was. And, Have and you found out? Yeah, I think. Who are you? Of all those people I've seen you portray, who are you closest to? Closest to? Yeah. You mean which character am I closest to? Yeah. Oh. Because most... I didn't mean that so much as just myself without, before, before you play any character, just who are you? Yeah, what okay. do I want to, how do I want to live my life? What way of life? You got that worked out? Or, yeah. Uh, have you? Yes. Everything good with the family and the home Everything. life? Everything. Is it? Yes. But that, to me, it isn't whether it's good or bad, it's that it, it is a life, it is a way of life, and that's what needs managing. The career somehow has to fit in and around that finally that's that's, what that's I'm first to then that's ahead of the career is what you're yeah. saying and then the career though keeps filling itself out whenever I get into my career I you know this thing takes off and I uh, here we go it's like a hot air balloon I suppose yeah. and here we go there goes the ground in other words in terms of priority things that are important in your life from one to five where's the career or is it even in the top five the career seems to take care of itself. I mean, I don't have to worry about that. Really? Uh, it's, it's... But you do, Cloris. Come on. No, I mean, in the sense that... that what I mean is, I l enjoy acting, and I, I love it. I, it's a thrilling, wonderful, privileged uh, thing to be doing. But, but the people in your life, those people in your life that you really are connected with, that's the part that needs it seems to me that needs the attention and needs the nurturing and needs the um, follow through and needs the planning for and then just the everydayness of all of that mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of where my mind is uh, uh, tuned into and then so I really think gosh I really should pay attention to the career and sure. then, yeah. I have more time now to do that and I think I will that's my next plan. This this medium, uh, you know, they keep showing sh things you've done. You never escape. When you've done something that's a turkey, unfortunately, in pictures, mm -hmm. it keeps rearing its ugly head. See, Don't they always choose those ones? Yeah, of oh, course. And they, and they keep saying, mm -hmm. and people say, oh, is that Cloris Leachman? And I, but what I'm getting, what I'm getting Which at is... Which turkey are you talking about? No, no, I'm not talking about a turkey. I'm referring to, they would identify with you as Phyllis on that Mary Tyler Moore show. You, the impact of that was incredible. Incredible, incredible enough that they had a, a an offspring, or, or you know, uh, took your sh your Phyllis character and made it a show. I hear they're do you, do planning you, on putting it on cable now. There you go. See, that's what I mean, I'm talking about. Do you, you get with that old group? It was a wonderful. Group oh, we're you, we're all connected, and um, you and Valerie, Valerie and, and I Valerie. are especially. Yeah. Was, um, <laughs> 
I called Mary one day by mistake, thinking it was my daughter's number where she was. <gasps> From some city. Mary where Tyler I, mm -hmm. <laughs> I said, Oh, Mary. <laughs> well, we talked for an hour. <laughs> oh, that's and she wonderful. was darling. Oh, and she said if she ever, ever were in trouble or really needed a friend, she had told somebody recently, she said that I would be the first one she would call. Hey, and I thought wonderful. that was. That's a great compliment. You know, because she's a very private person. And, Indeed. Uh, you never read anything about her. We have to pause for one of those things called commercial breaks. We'll be right back with Cloris Leachman right after this.